Ray is a tech-savvy guy and loves to spend most of his time exploring the web on his laptop. One fine day, he was going through an article on futuristic gadgets, and suddenly, he noticed an ad for the PS5 popping right beside the article. He found it a little strange as he recalled searching for that just a few hours ago. Later that day, he came across some suggestive ads popping up related to buying future-leading gadgets. And that is when he freaked out, thinking, how can it be possible that what he was searching for just a few hours or days ago on the internet is now suggesting ads related similar to them? So he thought of going to his elder brother, Aaron, who is a software engineer in an MNC. Upon understanding the situation, he explained to Ray that all of this is happening because we are in an era of Web 2.0. It all started in 1994 when Web 1.0 was introduced to the internet. Basically, Web 1.0 was all read-only content that was not interactable and was similar to a huge Wikipedia page. But after a few years in 2004, Web 2.0 came into the picture. Web 2.0 made the internet much more interactive because of developments in web technologies such as JavaScript, HTML5, CSS3, and others, which allowed companies to create interactive web platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Wikipedia, and many more. He further added that when we seek out information or data of any kind from any web platforms present on the internet, simultaneously unknowingly, we also provide them with information related to our choices and interests which are stored in cookies, which later they sell to various companies who make use of this data to advertise exactly what you are looking for. And this is how Ray was able to see ads of his concerned interests. Ray was fascinated by how the internet has evolved and how it works amazingly. But at the same time, he was concerned about the lack of privacy offered by it. Ray, out of his concern, asked Aaron, is there any way that one can get rid of the loopholes of the current Web 2.0? When Aaron answered yes, there are a lot of ways to do that, using Tor browser, incognito mode, etc. But these are not permanent solutions, and there can be fluctuations in their reliability. But this scenario can be changed not just for you, but for everyone using the internet, with the help of Web 3.0. Ray was curious about it and asked, what is Web 3.0? Aaron explained that Web 3.0 is the next step in the evolution of the internet allowing it to process data with near-human intelligence through the use of artificial intelligence and blockchain technologies that run innovative programs to help users by providing them with their relevant choices. It's a significant step toward open, trusting, and permissionless networks. Aaron further added, to fully comprehend this, we must first explore the four key features of Web 3.0. First is decentralization. Blockchain will help decentralize data storage while also establishing trust in the virtual world. Because Web 3.0 allows information to be retrieved based on its content, it can be kept in several locations simultaneously, making it decentralized. This would dismantle the vast databases currently maintained by internet giants like Facebook, now Meta, and Google, giving more power over people. Second is trustful and permissionless. Web 3.0 will also be trustful and permissionless, which means that participants will be able to interact directly without the need for a trusted intermediary or permission from a governing body. Due to this, you can access any data relevant to your choice without any permission from any other node or third party. For example, if you are researching for some data, you don't need to accept its cookies or you don't need to provide any sort of details as there is a trustful bond between you and the web. Third is artificial intelligence and machine learning. In Web 3.0, through technology based on semantic web ideas and natural language processing, computers will be able to understand the information in the same way that people do. For example, I love Paris and I heart Paris may seem different in syntax. However, their semantics are nearly identical. This will help the user to achieve more relevant content to their choices and will provide them ease with internet browsing. Fourth is connectivity and ubiquity. In Web 3.0, the internet will be accessible to everyone, anywhere, at any time, because IoT, Internet of Things technology, will launch in several new smart devices. These internet-connected devices will no longer be limited to PCs and smartphones as they were in Web 2.0. Understanding the shortcomings of Web 
corporates like Amazon, Apple, and Google are transforming their existing services into Internet 3.0 apps that abide by these four principles. Siri and Wolfram Alpha are two applications that use Web 3.0 features. After learning about this, Ray was relieved by the fact that Web 3.0 is going to bring so much of a difference, not just in his life, but also to the society as a whole. So here's a question for you. How is Web 3.0 related to blockchain? A, it helps create smart contracts for web pages on the internet. B, it helps Web 3.0 storage data in the blockchain. C, it offers a decentralized experience to its users. D, all of the above. Please take a minute to think about it and leave your answers in the comments section below. Three lucky winners will receive Amazon gift vouchers. Web 3.0 will offer a more personalized and customized surfing experience and a smarter and more human-like search assistant and other decentralized benefits, all of which are believed to contribute to a more fair web. This will be accomplished by giving each user control over their data, resulting in a richer overall experience. In a nutshell, the internet will become considerably more intertwined in our daily lives when Web 3.0 arrives. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Here's your reminder to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more on the latest technologies and trends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.